What's up, America? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock. It's time for the most exhilarating, the most watched, the most entertaining daytime cooking show with my main man, the Sultan of Smoke, the Prince of Pellets, Chef Greg. Every day, every episode, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, backyard and beyond, if it's lunch break, if it's after hours, if it's fun day Friday, Chef John is bringing that high energy. <laughs> John, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I love it. I love being here with you, man. So much, so much fun for sure. But we got a good, good, good recipe for you guys today. Uh, we're gonna do some delicious creamy shrimp and grits. It's a Southern staple, um, not gonna lie. I was not a huge fan of grits as a kid. You know, it was up north, we ate that cream of wheat. We didn't have grits at breakfast. So my first, uh, my first grit experience was in Roswell, Georgia at the Waffle House. And uh, I love the Waffle House now, but at the time, I didn't get it. There wasn't enough exposure. I was used to those, you know, Northern Jewish diners where they bring it. <laughs> John, you know what I'm talking about. I though. do, you, I know exactly what you're talking about. You spent some time in the Northeast, yes, so you know I what have. I'm talking about. I, I have. Um, it wasn't until uh, I was working at a country club and we cooked some really good grits. And it's honestly all about the grit. We're using some fantastic white stone ground grits. Now these are actually milled locally. Uh, they are from Adlu, A-D-L-U-H. Uh, it's a mill in Columbia, South Carolina. And in my opinion, hands down, they make the best white grits. Okay. I mean, it, it's a strong statement. It's okay, bold. that is, that's bold. I get it. That's bold. But once you've had these grits, it's like literally eating um, like ultra sweet white, white corn. It's okay. Amazing. So, hey guys, if you want to see the most amazing shrimp and grits recipe, go ahead and smash that share button. Go ahead and like, drop us a comment. Let me know what you're eating good for lunch, because I can tell you what, we're eating good for lunch today. At least the four of us. Minus Ben Lowe. He won't eat the shrimp because it'll kill him, but he'll That's have the right. grits. That's right. All right, right. Let's, let's say we go ahead and get this started. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Country Globe, come on in here. We're going to go ahead. We've got the RT590 preheated to 350 degrees. We've got a cast enamel Dutch oven, and I'm gonna add a half gallon of delicious whole milk, okay? Gotta get that good good in there. Uh, to that, we're gonna add a stick and a half of butter. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. And then to this, again, we're start with some cool milk. I'm gonna add um, right about a cup and a half of those grits. And I kind of eyeball it. Chef Greg, you don't put water in your grits? No, you don't put water in grits. <laughs> I'm telling you, once you've had these grits, you will never go back. All right, we're gonna let that do its thing. We'll give it a stir every, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Honestly, forget about it, it's done. We will season that with a little bit of that Colton's Freaking Greek here in a little bit. Uh, but right now, those grits are just getting happy. And I start them in cold milk for a couple of reasons. Some people out there, they soak their grits. Huh? I'm too lazy. Um, I will pick through them and see if make sure there's no stones. Um, but again, Adlu, they do a really good job with their, uh, with their grits. Um, cold milk, they'll start to hydrate a little bit. And for me, I think they uh, cook a little bit more evenly. They'll actually cook a little bit faster. But they're going to take uh, anywhere from about 45 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes uh, to get super soft and delicious. And a couple of things you can do if they start to thicken up a little bit, just add a little more milk. That's it. Super simple. I mean, John, you, you do grits with uh, with milk or water? Uh, definitely with milk. And actually, I like to use a little bit of heavy cream when I go to rehydrate them. I hit it, it with a little bit of heavy cream. I get it. Yeah. And you're going to see how creamy these grits are. We're not using any cheese, but you can put some cheese in your grits. Not going to lie. A little pepper jack in there. Some good stuff. Um, you could use a little bit of a chicken base or even Ray is fond of that roasted garlic base. That's a good one too. So Chef John, what you got for me, buddy? Uh, Jimmy Roberts asked, will you be posting this recipe somewhere? Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Not only this recipe, but all of the recipes. If you go to rectechgrills.com slash lunch break, go ahead and sign up. We will email this recipe out to you. Usually in a couple days, Charlie's usually pretty quick about turning that around, but you'll get all those recipes from the Rectech Grills lunch break after hours and fun day Friday sent to you. Uh, don't you worry, buddy. Or if you want, just watch this show. I don't know, five, six, eight, ten times. We don't mind. The more the <laughs> merrier. It's really simple. All right. But uh, for the shrimp 
part of our shrimp and grits, okay? We've got some andouille sausage, and you can use your favorite smoked sausage. If you want to use linguisa or hot Italian or chorizo, it doesn't matter what you guys want to use. Uh, maybe you make your own sausage out there. I know Diamond Dave uh, makes a delicious Portuguese-style sausage. It's, uh, it's some good stuff. So we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, cut some of this up in little coins because I don't mind kind of chunkier sausage. Now, if I'm doing this for the wife and kids, I'll probably quarter this because they don't want to eat big, uh, big chunks of sausage. Okay, and all this can be done ahead of time. You can easily, you know, cut this up, you know, day before, morning of, make the grits. The grits reheat really well. What's up, Ray Ray? Look who's, look who's sneaking, sneaking in. Sneaking in the back. Sneaking in the back. Yeah. So we've got that, uh, that sausage there. We'll just put that right there again. We've got that cast iron pan on that uh, RTB 380 preheated to 500 degrees. We'll just give that a minute. But we're going to get our vegetables ready. I like a little onion in mine. And if you want to bring some more flavor, you can easily uh, smoke your onions or smoke your vegetables first. But Rich says the best shrimp and grits come from Georgia. <clears throat> I'm a huge fan. Um, some people, you know, they use those yellow grits. That's not a grit. That's polenta. Okay. <laughs> Big difference. True story. Big difference. Chef Greg, maybe you could answer this. So grits, Ralph asks grits, should they be sweet or savory? They can be both. So um, you can treat them kind of like oatmeal. If you want to do some milk, maybe you want to put some cinnamon, some nutmeg. Uh, you can treat it like a cream of wheat, if you will. Obviously, it's corn based and do that that sweet side. A little maple syrup in there. It's fantastic. Uh, you can even do them the day before. Put them in a pan, let them get cold. You can cut them out and then um, you can fry them delicious um, but they can be sweet or savory uh, we are going a savory route today um, but again they can be you know however you want to live your rec tech lifestyle I'm sure there's some southerners down there saying you're gonna put maple syrup in your grits shoot yeah you can put maple syrup in your grits you put maple and bacon and sausage why not grits I'm just saying so all right here's a cool trick for a bell pepper all right I try to find the four-sided bell peppers and then it just gives me a road map so I just kind of cut it down the sides like that. I don't disturb the seeds. And then boom, there you go. Perfect. Oh, a little chef tip right there for you. Kobe. And if your knife is not super sharp, what you can do is instead of trying to cut through the skin first, flip it over and then go through the flesh side. And that way you've got a little bit more, um, uh, you know, the knife will go through that pepper a little bit easier. But Chef yeah. Greg, James says the food in Afghanistan is so bad here. He said he hasn't eaten all day. He cannot wait to get home to his grill and do some good cooking. Well, you know what? Maybe you just got to get a rec tech grill over there in uh, Afghanistan. We got to reach out to our friends. We really in the, should. Uh, in That's the Army, the idea. Marine Corps, the Navy. That's a great I mean, idea, Chef not? Greg. Okay, uh, Kevin asked, he just bought a 700 today from the factory. He says, what do you recommend for his first cook? All right, so if you go over to YouTube, you can uh, check out those videos. We'll show you how to burn in your brand new RT700. We will also give you the perfect, God, off the rim. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, we'll give you that perfect first cook, and we recommend chicken thighs. They're dirt cheap, they're delicious. They'll also cook at 400 degrees in right about an hour, but you uh, can check out that video on YouTube, and my man Ben Lowe put that together. Yeah, shout out to Ben Lowe, the Gandalf of everything video. I think he has way too much fun doing that, though. I, I mean, you know, they say you, you don't ever work a day in your life if you love your job. That guy right there. He's never working there. Yeah, he's never working there. Hey, Joe says, uh, what kind of knives do we use, uh, Chef, Gay, Chef uh, Greg? He's thinking about changing up his knife game. All right, so uh, for Rectech Grills uh, Academy, we definitely recommend the Fujiwara series, and those are available um, at, well, can't say it right yet. But if you come to Academy, there's going to be some really cool stuff that you can buy that you can't buy anywhere else. But you can check them out at JapaneseChefsKnife.com. Um, you can shoot me a DM or shoot Chef John a DM. We'll get you that link. Um, very affordable. They average between $120 you know, to $150 a piece, depending on what size you're looking for. Um, but for me, I like this is a Mr. Ayutu. This is a, a true Japanese Damascus steel. It's got an abalone shell handle. Um, yeah, I've had this one for like... I don't it's know, pretty. going on like 16 years now? It's pretty, Chef Greg. It's like pretty. It. All right, so we'll go ahead and let's get this sausage in here and let's get this get this going. We've got that RTB 380. And again, three links of that sausage in there. We'll go ahead and set that on riot mode. 
we've got that 12 inch cast iron pan. We'll let that go for just, uh, you know, maybe a couple minutes, get good and crispy. And let's go ahead and give those grits a quick stir. I see that butter starting to melt. And even though we're cooking it at 350 degrees on the grits, we're still gonna pick up a good bit of sweetness from that smoke. And here you go, check this one out. This one we started a little bit earlier. Ready? We need, we need some dramatic music here, John. <laughs> Look at that. You can see how nice and thick and creamy that's Ooh, getting. Looks great, Woo, Chef they're, Brad. Shoot, they're, they're spitting and sputtering, shooting at us. <laughs> Easy over there. You can't handle another injury. No, hey. <laughs> It's not a wild boar, so we're safe. <laughs> ah. But you Chef, know what? We'll be eating that bad boy soon enough. Don't you worry. Chef Greg, Patrick Miller asks, how does the bullseye do on pellet consumption? So it depends what temperature you're cooking at. Now, when you're on riot mode, obviously you're going to burn through more pellets than you are when you're cooking, say, you know, 225, 250, 275. Um, but on those lower temperatures, it's still really efficient. You'll burn about a pound an hour um, at those lower temps, so kind of below 300 degrees. But if you're ripping on, we saw those delicious tri-tips uh, last night. We had it on riot mode for 45 minutes, and we still had, I don't know, like well over, I mean, we went down maybe that much in the hopper, so we used maybe two pounds, give or take, two and a half pounds. Super, super efficient. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some tomato here. Chef Greg, what grits were you using again today? Where were they from? They are from a mill in Columbia, South Carolina. It's called Adlu, A-D-L-U-H. They do ship their products. They make some really good flours as well as um, they do uh, fish uh, batters. They do a really good hush puppy mix. Good, good people over there with Adlu. We'll go ahead and just slice up the tomato. But make sure you guys go ahead and smash that share button. Go ahead and comment down below. Tag any of your friends who like some really good shrimp and grits. Maybe you've visited Charleston or the Savannah area, any, anywhere in the low country. They've had some good shrimp and grits. I guarantee the shrimp and grits here at Rectech Grills are definitely better. We did a shrimp and grits at Academy two years ago. Yeah. Um, that was the fun. We did that for lunch. I want to say that was our volunteer lunch on Wednesday, way back when. It was good. That's it was right. Good. That's right. Oh, Matt, man. Matt Weber says that we need to open a, our own restaurant. He said that way he can watch it live in front of us as we eat. He said it would be great interaction and conversation. If people want interaction and conversation, Chef Just Fred, do it right now. Yeah. Just or go, just come shoot to it. Academy, right? Absolutely. We've got spots open uh, in June. That's going to be June 4th, 5th, and 6th. We've also got dates in September and October. But we don't need a restaurant, okay? I'm not going to be greedy. You can make this at your house. It can be equally as delicious, if not better, you make it yourself at the home. It's going to be a lot more affordable going out to eat. Now, again, support our friends and family in the restaurant business as we transition out of this quarantine phase. Show them some love. But after that, stay home, cook on your rec tech, because you can do it about. all there. That's and what it's going to be about. just as good, if not better, than, than if we cook it. But I'm going to go ahead and hit that sausage with a little bit of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. This is start to develop some spice. Go ahead and get a spoon and give that a quick stir. Chef Greg, Gary Wright asks, how many times a week do you guys use the Rec Tech at your own home? <laughs> um, eight days a week. That's what I'm saying. Eight days a week. And I say eight days because I cook more than once a day on the grill. So every day we do something. Um, it could be a hot and fast cook on the, the bullseye. Maybe it's a low and slow cook or heating leftovers. I think the kids today um, are going to make some non-bread pizzas. Ooh, Again, that sounds delicious. They're going to take care of that themselves. It's, it's super simple. It's a create your own lunch. But Chef John, we got a lot going on this week. Yes. You killed some turkey wings the other Those day. Those were so good. Delicious. So good. Jody's doing a brisket tomorrow for Fun Day Friday. Oh, yeah. Brisket really time. Good for sure. And we got a couple giveaways going on. That's right. So if you guys want some cool Rectech swag, uh, you can jump over to our, uh, after this video, kind of pinned to the top will be our Facebook post. Uh, we've partnered with the Giving Tree, and you can order those Rec Tech Grills and Dirty Girls shirts. Limited av availability, guys. Uh, pick it up. They're available in all sizes. Super nice t-shirts. All of those proceeds will be uh, supporting uh, workers in the hospitality industry. And then Chef John dropped a bomb yeah. on Backyard and Beyond. Sure enough, did. Um, this week, he's giving away a Dirty Girl prize pack. That's right. Uh, so it's a one of each of their mixers. You get their Bloody Mary mix. There you go. You get their 10 month age olive juice. You also get mm -hmm. the delicious, delicious sour mix. And if the dirty girls are out there watching, we'll, we'll see if they're watching. 
If you bring us a bottle of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix, we'll go ahead and put it in our shrimp and grits. Ooh, so that's a challenge, snap, Dirty Girls. Dirty Girls, I hope y'all are watching. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put some of these own yawn in, uh, in here, and uh, it'll be a fun one. I'm excited for Academy, it's gonna be a blast. Again, that's gonna be three days of barbecue instruction. Thursday, we're doing whole hogs with Carrie Chastain to hold your horses barbecue. We got Roddy Trevino and Sarah Starr coming in from Texas, showing you all I sorts love of those fun two. stuff. They are the if nicest. If all couple. else, come hang out with us. Ray will be here all yeah. weekend. It's going to be a blast. But let's go ahead. I'm going to add our mushrooms in here, and these are some delicious shiitake mushrooms. The reason why we're going to do mushrooms now is they're going to help absorb some of that fat. Going to cook out some of the water that's in them, and you can see those sausages are getting nice and caramelized. I'm also going to grab a good knob of butter. Again, that half a stick of butter that we saved earlier, we're going to go ahead and get it in that pan right now. And then while we got it open, we're going to go and hit that with a little of that Colden's freaking Greek. Oh, I love that stuff, Chef Greg. Herbaceous, so delicious. Yeah, I mean, like I said, cooking on a Rectech is super simple. It's easy. If you guys want to see the most amazing, God, I am like one for three today on the track. <laughs> I think the wind is coming in at a weird angle and, and kind of it. blowing That's it off. It. That's but if it. you guys want to see this amazing shrimp and grits recipe come together, go ahead and smash that share button. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Make sure you tag a friend in this because again, barbecue shrimp and grits doesn't get any easier, any better. It's amazing. Chef John, what you got for me, buddy? Yeah, Craig asked, how do the electronics on our grills hold up over time in the places like the frozen tundra? So we've got grills all over, you know, uh, Canada. You've got grills in, you know, North and South Dakota, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Um, we've got grills in Oregon, in Washington State, in Maine, everywhere. Prince Edward Island up in uh, the Nova Scotia area. They've got some grills out there as well. Our grills are made to work, okay? They're made to run seven days a week. 24 hours a day, 365, hands down. Um, I love it. I and again, love it. you're gonna uh, not you're not gonna want to stop cooking on your grill because it is that easy. Yep. I don't think we need all these onions. That was actually a really big onion. It was lie. a big onion. That uh, was the, uh, uh, the Savannah Gene Moore, Riverside onion. Gene Moore's asking me, did I use a water pan when I cooked the cheesecake on the 590? Yes, I did. For sure. Yeah. Yes, actually, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. So and if you've got a spring form pan, uh, sorry, spring form pan. Go ahead and line the bottom of that with aluminum foil, and that way, if your seal isn't tight enough, you don't uh, compromise the bottom of that pan. You know, you don't, you don't want cheesecake in there. That's right. But I, you're talking about cheesecakes. Have you ever made a Basque style cheesecake, the burnt cheesecakes? Oh yeah. You actually made one of yes, those? Yes, I have made one I've of those. Made, I haven't made one of those. You yet. haven't? No. Well, you I like mean, why mess your... up? Why mess up a really good New York cheesecake that's, by burning the top? That's very true. You should put that on your your checklist, though, Chef Greg, for sure. I guess. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We've got those. Sausage is nice and crispy. Those mushrooms are getting good. We're gonna hit that with a little bit of our onion and bell pepper. Okay, and we'll let that go for just, uh, I don't know, just a couple minutes. I'm getting close. I'm gonna clean up the rest of this board. And I've got a couple ears of Jersey sweet corn. Uh-oh. Beep, 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 beep. But that's the aged olive juice. Yeah, we do. I think we threw out the request for the Bloody Mary we mix. We need the Bloody Mary mix. Charlie told me olive juice. Charlie Weir, come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Although that is equally delicious. That is. I'm talking, so aged olive juice. It's the only aged olive juice on the market. Yes. 10 months. Now, the cool thing about this, you can use it in salad dressings, vinaigrettes, marinades. If you love uh, briny flavors, amazing. Not just for martinis. Yes. You can cook with it. It's really fantastic. Go get you some. Bloody Mary or even your margarita. I love it. I make a really good um, herb Italian uh, salad dressing. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and throw some of that in there for some briny acidity. It's love amazing. it. All right, which uh, Bloody Mary do you want? Mild, medium, or hot? You, you know what? You pick it. Chef That's Greg, spicy. go for it. Charlie Weir. Come on, buddy. <laughs> The co-owner, Ray Carnes, is in the comment section. What's up, Ray Ray? Hey, Ray, we'll have some shrimp and grits available in about 20 minutes. Don't you worry. Uh, we will bring you up a plate or just come on down and, and uh, get a taste. All right, so we're going to put these tomatoes over here. Clean up our little mess we got going on. Chef Greg, if someone wanted this recipe, where do they go to find out? Super simple, guys. Go ahead and jump over to rectechgrills.com slash lunch break. All of the recipes will be available there. Um, we'll email them to you and we'll put all the old recipes together so you can see all of the stuff before. Which one did you pick for us? Ah, Woo, really spicy, right. spicy. Again, this stuff here, look at, look at the texture of this. It doesn't separate 
There's no weird chunks. Oh, yeah. Nothing but really good flavor there. Mm -hmm. And you thought Chef John was the only one that could talk about dirty girl mixers on That's what I'm, I'm saying, talking about. God, I love it. I love it. I mean, if you're going to use the rub, use the mixer. It's that simple. All right, so we're going to go ahead and chop up some onions here. These will be a little garnish. But, all right, John, what you got for me, buddy? What's good? What are they? What are they saying? Okay, up? they. I got a. We got a question about flare ups. So doing um, greasy cooks at three twenty five to three seventy five. Yep. How do? How does the grill react? Uh, with that? Talking about the bullseye or the any bull, other grill? The bullseye. So the bullseye uh, has a heat plate, uh, heat deflector that's going to be over top of that fire pot. The beauty of that is when you do high temp cooks, that fat and juice is going to hit. Uh, that deflector and vaporize, come back up on your food and, uh, and steam it and season it in ways very similar to how a charcoal grill operates. Um, the beauty of it is it vaporizes. Super simple cleanup because it's literally taking care of itself. Now, if you know you're doing a really fatty cook, maybe you're doing a, a slow brisket or a pork butt, something along those lines, you can absolutely put a, uh, a, a water pan underneath of that grate that'll, with some water that'll help catch some of those fats and avoid those flare ups. But after a greasy cook, if you want, like we did some amazing tri tips last night. Yeah, stupid they were delicious. So good. So uh, those good. folks at Cow Steaks hooked it up. If yeah, you guys they did. want some really good tri tip, check out uh, cowsteaks.com. They will hook it up for you. But this morning, uh, what about 11 o'clock, I turned that bullseye on riot mode for about eight minutes and burned up everything that was there, and it was good to go. Turned it down, and we got our shrimp and grits going. That's All right, right, let's give it a stir here. Starting to get some good color on the sausage, the onions, the peppers. Really, really good, simple, easy. And let's give these grits a quick stir here at Country Club. Chef Greg, if people want to find out about the schedule for Academy, um, we got a specific question about the whole hog on Thursday. Where okay. do they need to go? What do they need to do to find out? All right, what so that you can just go like? ahead and email me at Chef Greg at RecTechGrills.com. I will uh, answer any and all of your questions there, and uh, we will go from there. These grits, those are done. They look delicious. Those are done. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some towels. Now, disclaimer here: hot like lava. We're gonna go ahead. Put that bad boy right there. And you want to be careful when you're stirring your grits because sometimes they get angry with you and they start to spit. Yeah, that's, that hurts. And that's again, hot. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's like napalm. Yeah. But uh, no cheese in here. And you can look and see how nice and creamy those are. Okay, and as mm. those cool, mm. that's going to tighten up a little bit. And if you wanted to, you could absolutely hit that with some sharp uh, white cheddar cheese. Yes, You could Greg. absolutely hit that with some pepper jack cheese. Mm. There's a really good uh, habanero, uh, sorry, it's the habanero uh, fontina. That stuff will light you up twice on Sundays. Would be amazing in that's here. That's the truth. And then Boar's Head and their smaller things has a ghost pepper pepper jack. I'm not dumb enough to try that. Okay, <laughs> you put that ghost pepper in something. Not this guy. That's so funny. our grits are done. They took um, right about an hour and 20 minutes. We put them on at about an hour 25. We put them on at 11 o'clock and looking really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one more stir. And I think we're ready to add the tomatoes in here. Okay. We're getting down to it, people. Okay. Smells delicious, Chef Greg. Michael has a question. Uh, he asked, in the coastal areas, specifically talking about salt water, are there any problems with our grills and corrosion? All right, buddy. Our grills are stainless steel, okay? This ain't no wimpy, flimsy grill you're getting at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. This grill is built like a tank, all right? Features uh, fantastic 430 stainless steel. All of the internals are 304 stainless steel. This grill is built to last a lifetime. So go ahead and pick up with that RT700, get cooking, make a lot of friends. My grandparents have a RT300, an older version of the uh, RT340 at the Jersey Shore. They've had it up there for three years. He's 93 years old. Yeah, he, he is. He cooks on the grill two times a week because he's <laughs> he, he's old, just, just bear with him. He cooks in that grill two times a week. He's never once called me for an issue. Um, Love the it. The grill's worked, doesn't complain. And you better believe if something wasn't right, he wouldn't hear the end of it from Veronica. Because she's got a little bit of a mouth on her now. So she is 92. But again, they cook in that grill about two times a week. Uh, they go Sunday and usually Wednesday or Thursday, depending on what's going on. 
And uh, the weather up there, Jersey Shore, is starting to get a little bit nice because they spend more time on the back deck and patio. But fantastic pick one up, guys. It's it's worth it. I'm saying. All right, but if you want to see how amazing these shrimp and grits come out with that dirty girl Bloody Mary rub, go ahead and smash that share button. And uh, let me do it with this hand. Go ahead, smash that share button. <laughs> Can't do it with this arm. You do it left hand. Uh, let us know where you guys are cooking, what you're making for uh, for dinner tonight. Maybe what you got going on for Memorial Day. John, you yeah. cooking anything good for Memorial Day? I'm sure I'm going to be doing something. I haven't got it all locked down yet at all, Chef Greg. Gilbert, though, says from he's uh, from California with some southern roots, but he's never had shrimp and grits, Chef Greg. Well, you got to try these shrimp and grits. We're going to go ahead and add about a cup of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. And that's going to go ahead and cook down. And again, Great flavor. You got some Worcestershire in there, some spice. Now, Amanda gave us that hot. Yes, yeah, so she did. This is going to have some really good flavor to it. And I'm going to go ahead. I've got uh, two pounds of shrimp. Yes. And after I peel my shrimp chef tip, I go ahead and put a uh, paper towel underneath. And that way, uh, any juice uh, gets caught in there. And while we got it open, I think we need a little layer of that. Yes, do it, Chef Greg, do it. Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. Some good stuff right there. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and hit it again with that freaking grease, because why not? That's what I'm talking Boom. about. And the beauty of cooking on cast iron and that bullseye, you get that convection current all around your food. Mm -hmm. So that sauce is gonna develop on the bottom, but you also get that heat coming over the top to cook those shrimp cooks from the bottom up and the top down. <laughs> All right, so here's my secret. These grits are really hot. I'm going to grab a little bit of this sweet corn. Ooh. Okay. okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of that sweet corn in these grits to okay. make it extra sweet and extra creamy. Because again, you're going to get that pop of corn in there. Chef Greg, I like where your head's at today. We don't We don't mess around, John. Chef Greg, Brad asked, could you put cream cheese in the grits? You could certainly put cream cheese in the grits. I don't think it needs it. I mean, they're going to be creamy enough as it is. Um, and that way, if they're a little on the thick side, you're going to put that uh, shrimp mixture on the top, and it's going to get all, like, delicious and amazing, and it's really going to just scream low country cuisine. Vince asked, uh, you got your stitches out yet, or when no, are they coming out? No, no, no. Uh, they're going to come out... Uh, if I can bribe one of the EMTs up here to do it, maybe Friday or Tuesday. <laughs> uh, it's been two weeks on Sunday, and uh, it's it's getting there. I'm ready to have the stitches out. I just don't want to take them out too early and then go to move, and all of a sudden, like that boar wound, uh, you know, That's revisits it. itself. Because... Yeah, we don't want to see that either, Chef Greg. Kyle says shrimp and grits are, are staple in his household. He says they also use crawfish sometimes. You can use definitely some crawfish. Now, blank canvas. You can throw some catfish nuggets in there. You can throw some shrimp, some scallops, some crawfish. Honestly, any of your favorite seafood, um, especially if you go in like Louisiana, you've got redfish and grouper and stuff. Cube it up, go ahead and throw it on there. You can use some blackening seasoning if you want to. Um, but I think we're gonna live dangerously. What do you think if we put some of that olive juice oh, in those grits too? Do it, Chef Greg, Man. do it, do it. We're gonna add a splash on there, give a little bit more of a brine to it. Let's uh, get in here close, Country Club. Let's go ahead and give it a stir. I'm just going to keep having you walk back and forth. <laughs> just make sure you get your steps in. Chef Greg, while you're stirring that, Jer Jermaine says that he's doing a whole hog leg quarters tri tip for Memorial Day. You got a busy, a busy weekend. And by the sounds of it, I wonder if Jermaine out there has a BFG. Sounds because like that's it. a lot of food that you can fit on that grill. You know what, Country Club? I think we need a little bit more of that Bloody Mary mix. Yes. Because it's looking good. But I think it's got to be extra good. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit more of that. Chef Greg, can you go over time and temp one more time? Yeah, buddy. We've got this uh, RT V380 set on riot mode. We started this show at 12 o'clock. Uh, we put those shrimp on there about 10 minutes after that. We are right about 20 minutes to build the sauce, maybe five minutes, and they're good. On the RT 590, we put a half a gallon of milk, half a pound of butter, uh, about two and a half uh, cups of grits. We let it go for an hour and 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And again, look. Look at how creamy this is. Ooh, buddy. Like these ain't your mama's grits. Nope. Okay. Uh, we put a little bit of that sweet corn in there uh, to really just make it extra corny. Okay. Extra corny. <laughs> <laughs> White corn, people. White corn. You can also take a cheat if you want. You can take some of Ray's famous uh, cream corn. 
throw a can of cream corn in here or the little frozen packages of cream corn, um, Ray loves him some cream corn. Yeah. Cream corn and all your gravy packets, I think, are his two, like, it's true. secrets to delicious things around the hunt camp. Uh, Ralph says, uh, do you guys ever sous vide anything before searing it on the bullseye? People are all about this whole sous vide thing. Yeah, they're, they're about that life. All right, so sous vide is fantastic. You can transform some meats um, that are very tough and do very uh, tender and de delicious things. But if there's one downside to sous vide is it kind of lacks flavor. Yeah, you can put duck fat in the bag. You can put some herbs in the bag. But for me, if I'm going to do something like tri-tip or London broil or flank steak, instead of you know putting it in a sous vide bag, I'm going to put that uh, Rectech on low or 200, 225 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and smoke that steak or that piece of meat just below my desired finished uh, temperature, take it off, jack it off, uh, and sear it off and be amazing. What you don't want to do is put something in the bag because it's just kind of gray. It's not pleasant. It's just kind of ugh. But, you know, for me, I think sous vide is kind of a crutch for some people, uh, especially in the restaurants. I don't know about you, John. I've gone to some restaurants. Oh, yeah. And it's like you get that chicken for a salad, and it's yeah. like spongy and gummy. Yeah, no good. No good. But it's also great for, like, I really like to sous vide some, like, uh, tenderloins. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and drop them in, cook them to 115 degrees, and then, like, have a marinade in there, something yeah. really delicious, and then just sear them off on the grill. They're perfect that way. Reverse sear, people. Reverse If you think sear. you're going to sous vide something, just go ahead and reverse sear it instead. We've it's got true. fantastic recipes on how to reverse sear tenderloins, ribeyes. We did tri-tip last night two different ways. Um, yeah. More flavor. All right, I think these are getting pretty darn close. Chef oh, Greg, man. people are excited, and I know Ray, I know Ray dropped a little bit of knowledge about the bullseye not being ready yet. He said he's gonna put it for sale as soon as they come in. Just remind everybody, you know? If you guys want the latest, that's got like maybe another minute. If you guys want the latest info on not just the RTB 380 bullseyes, but all things Rectech, go to any page on the website, go all the way to the bottom where it says sign up for the newsletter. Go ahead and put your email address in there. You got to hit enter, okay? And maybe if you're having issues with that, go ahead and clear your cookies, delete your browsing history um, for your internet service provider, that little icon in the top, and then try it again. I can guarantee you're going to get it. For whatever reason, if you have any issues, any complications, Go ahead and give us a call, 706-922-0890. All of our amazing CSRs who are located right here at 4301 Evans Salox Road will answer that uh, phone. They will help you out. They all live the Rec Tech lifestyle. They all own a grill, cook on a grill. They all have their favorite recipes. And they got some good stuff because every now and then they bring in some beef jerky. And they'll say, hey, chefs, yeah. try some beef jerky. I love it Even when they do that. Even our marketing director, Trey, cooked some amazing beef jerky on his RT700 at the house. And it was something fierce. So... All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull our pan off of here. Ooh, that looks so good, Chef Greg. Looky, looky, looky. And Kenny, yes, I will be doing late night munchies tonight on Rec Tech Chef John's uh, Facebook page at 11 o'clock. I highly suggest everybody tune in. It's a great time. John, what you cooking this week? I, it's going to be a surprise. If you guys want to know what I'm cooking, you guys got to tune in. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of a fuddy-duddy. I go to bed at like 9.30, maybe 10. I, 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 don't, get, I don't get the sneak peek. Uh, it's going to be delicious. How about that? It's going to be delicious, and it's going to be cooked on a Rectech grill. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and dish this up, because I don't know about you, but I am getting kind of hangry. Oh man, Chef Greg. We'll go ahead and make a nice little Guys, pile show, of Guys, just pound that share button for me. Smash that share button. Show, give us some hearts. Give us some wow faces. Show us that you guys are in to this deliciousness. And then we're Chef gonna go Greg ahead and grab doing. some of that shrimp and grits. It goes right in the middle. You gotta make sure you get some sausage, some shrimp. Just like that. Get some of that dirty girl mm. pan gravy. Wow, Chef Greg. That looks delicious. Guys, y'all gotta try this. Make this your meal tonight. That Done. looks awesome. Done. Killing it. Done. All right. Can we go split screen, John? I wish we, uh, oh. Can we figure that out? Oh. We did it once before. I, I'm putting, I, okay. Rectech disclaimer, I totally just put him on the spot over there. So if this doesn't work, I apologize. All right, here we go. You're going split screen? I'm trying it. All right. Let's, uh... All right. 
Country Club, that's for uh, me double uh, double tray that. That's for John when we figure out this whole split screen. I got Jody it. Jody Ray, We're come on. on. We're on it. We got the split screen going. All right. So oh, thank you. You've got chef chef tasting cam right now. All right, Let's it's see. hot, John. I apologize. All okay. Right. Looks good. It looks real good. All right. Well, I'm going to cheers you. Oh. Am I on the right side or the left side? You're on the left side. I'm on the left side. So I need to cheers to my right. You need to right? cheers. This Hold way? On. This way? Yeah, you need to cheers this. This way. I can't see it. No? The other way. Other, other way, way, Greg. This way. This cheers way. the other way. Hey, John? I need to cheers the other way. I appreciate you cooking with me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They're going to forego the frenulum. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Woo. Mm. Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. That mm. is delicious. Chef Greg, you killed it. It's the perfect blend of spice and creaminess as grits are cooked perfectly. You get a little oh of that God. acid from that aged olive juice yes. in there? Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. That is a win, win, win. The shrimp are cooked perfectly. You know what, John? What? This ain't no game, buddy. This ain't no game. Everyone else is playing for seconds. Ain't no game. That's Ain't what I'm talking no about. no <clears throat> game. Whew, the best part question. about these Rectech Grills lunch breaks mm. is the fact that we eat a really good lunch every single day. Mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Guys. But do me a favor. Do Chef John a favor. Go ahead and smash that share button. That's exactly what I was Go ahead to say. and let Ray and Ron and Ben and everybody at Rectech Grills know that you love what we're doing. That's what I'm talking about. Because the about. more you like it, the more you share it, the more you comment, the more you, we get to do it. Tell them, okay? Chef Greg. We love it. Best part of my day. Other than, say, that first cup of coffee in the morning. Because that's that's that, that's a pretty good way to start the day. Ooh, that is. But this is the second best thing way to start the day right here. Chef well, Greg, usually you just kind of going to the office and, you know, seeing Chef John yeah. kind of bless the marketing room. And he kind of walks in and he, like... He literally walks, you know, like with theme music. Okay? <laughs> hey, you laugh, but it's true. Hey, if you guys like, don't walk with theme music, you're not living your, your best life. He literally walks to his own theme song mm, everywhere mm. he goes. Okay? That's right. And if you know Chef John Pinnell personally, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm Rich, just saying, you know. Richard said he did the Sloppy Johns last night. That's what he I'm saying. He said they were delicious. Chef Craig, why don't you tell everybody about, uh, we teamed up with Glenn Beck, right? For something for Father's Day? If you guys want to win one for dad, for dad, super simple, go to... Glenn Beck's Instagram profile, you can win yourself an RT700, maybe win one for yourself as well. Um, we've also got uh, giveaways tomorrow on Fun Day Friday. Jody's gonna cook, man, my mouth is literally <laughs> salivating, so much so I can't talk. This is it's amazing. It's so good. But we're giving away, um, let's see, you spun that wheel last Fun Day Friday. That's right. And landed on an RT700. Mm -hmm. And if you wanna win yourself an RT700, jump over to Rectech Grills, Fun day Friday from last week. You guys can see how you can win that. Chef John has given away a, a Dirty Girl prize pack. That's right. You can win yourself not just a bottle of this Dirty Girl hot, but the aged olive juice and every one of their amazing products um, right. available that they do uh, super good. I'm a huge fan of those uh, Rimmer salts oh, they're and so margarita good. salts. So good. Delicious. I mean, elevate your game, people. Come on. Why not be the best? Okay? <laughs> be like Hellman's. Oh, That's sorry. right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, 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 whoa little mayonnaise whoa, shade. Whoa, Threw that one in there. Hold on, hold on. Threw that one in there. Hold on. Kyle, you guys, Kyle asked, I'm sorry, Chef Gray, I didn't mean to cut you off. Kyle asked, can the 700 run off of a generator? Absolutely. Yeah, as long as it's uh, anything over like a 400 watt inverter, you're good to go. Um, you can plug it in the back of your truck if you're taking it with you camping or tailgating as well. Um, a smaller generator will work just fine. Uh, but that 400 to 600 watt size is about the minimum there. So yeah, I think um, we use the Honda as the 2200 generators. Yeah, that we and that's kind of overkill because you can run about three grills off of that that's too. Because I've done it before. <laughs> we had to take that thing with the uh, the chuck wagon with the two 700s on it. But if you guys want to get this recipe and all the recipes from Rectech Grills Lunch Break, go to rectechgrills.com/lunchbreak. Sign up there. We'll get all these fantastic recipes for you, Chef John. What else, man? I'm ready to like dive into more food. Yeah, no. Everybody says it looks delicious. Um, you've already set, talked about Academy coming up. We got Everyone's it. super excited about that. I mean, the sun is out here at Evans, Georgia, and that's not just today, but it's every day. So make sure you guys come by, check it out. Um, if you're doing a big cook for Memorial Day, come on by, see us, grab some pellets. Maybe if you're on the fence, I'm working tomorrow from, uh, from 9 to 3. I'll be the okay. manager on duty. So okay. come on down, pick up an RT700, take it home, go ahead and cook a feast for your friends and family uh, this Memorial Day weekend. From Chef Greg, from Chef John, 
and all of us at Rec Tech Grills, we will see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Tech. Who do, else we got do, here? Do. Jim's out do, there saying he can't do, wait. It's going to be a good recipe. Do, What's up, guys? Do, How you doing today? Rec Tech. I said it. Playing for a second, you know it, man. Scott did fajitas last night. Congratulations, down. Scott. Coffee Live on the Rec Tech. You can absolutely you like. smoke it's coffee the beans on the Rec Tech. The king of swagger. That's Chef John do, over there do, right do, now. Coffee, grits, breakfast, dessert. Put some maple syrup.